Welcome back. If you're a big dog person, you're gonna love this. The American Humane Hero Dog Awards are back and the five finalists have been announced. They're all extraordinary dogs that do incredible things to serve this country, like therapy, law enforcement, guide and hearing for their human companions and military service. Like Buddha here, who drops out of a helicopter with the Coast Guard. So joining me now, American Humane President and CEO Robin Gansert. Kelly Brownfield with therapy dog Maverick and U.S. Coast Guard canine handler Chase Lemur with Buddha. All right, I love having the dogs here on set. This is great. Now, Robin, this isn't the first time you've done this, right? It's what, not. Which year are we going on here? 13th year of celebrating these heroes on both ends of the leash. It's really the Oscars for canines. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> mm -hmm. So they do all sorts of things. I know Maverick here is a, a, a therapy dog, a companion dog. Can, can you tell me what Maverick does? Maverick is a therapy dog. Yeah. And he does anything from escorting children to the burial of, of their loved ones yeah. to, you know, sitting by the side of our military uh, on suicide watch to sitting on the stand with children as they testify. We yeah, I read that, the testifying. Yeah. So if a, if a child has to get up in court, they're nervous, they have this dog sit beside them and it comforts them, is that right? Absolutely. To have have Maverick there and I've actually seen where he's been sitting by them and gets asked a question that any grown adult would, would be shy to answer yeah and Maverick looks at the child and just nudges them and gives them that strength to push through and carry on and so he'll stay by their side the entire time yeah you know what Maverick I could use you sometimes when I have tough interviews you know <laughs> you could, I think you so know, for me <laughs> so Chase tell me what's going on with Buddha over here Relaxing after a long day. You guys have been out <laughs> yeah. on the, doing press all day, right? Yeah, it's been a long day and uh, our first time to New York, so we're taking it all in. And, Wait, uh, not, you, not just your dog, but your first time too. Yeah, both of us. <laughs> yeah. So what a way to experience it. Yeah, uh, Buddha's tired. He's had a long day, but uh, well deserved. A lot now, of work. Now, I said in the intro for Buddha, he goes out of helicopters. How is that done? I mean, do you put the, the parachute on the dog or does he go kind of tandem or what? So it's kind of tandem. Whenever we uh, deploy out of a helicopter, he'll have his harness and uh, his safety equipment on and then I'll have mine and yeah. uh, I'll have a, a basically an attachment for both of our harnesses and then I'll take the uh, hoist and connect it to myself and then he'll come up and down with me. How do you do the first the first jump you do with a dog like Buddha? I mean are they are they scared? Do they know what's happening? So you never really know. They could be scared. They could be all right with it. Uh, fortunately with Buddha, he just he just kind of goes limp, which is really good. Um, just kind of hangs out and, yeah. and doesn't really care too much. But uh, there are dogs that uh, obviously have a difficult time going out of helicopters. So we got really lucky with Buddha. Uh, humans too, by the way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. So I, I love I, I love these dogs and mm -hmm. I want them I want them all to get, have an award. I think I would feel that way about every dog. How do you come to your decision? Well, what I love is America nominates and America votes. So each of the five dogs, the five top hero dog finalists are finalists in their category. Yeah. Buddha's the winning military dog. Maverick's the winning therapy dog. We're here with canine Poppy, who's the winning law enforcement dog. We have the winning service dog, Moxie, and the winning shelter dog, Raina. So each of these dogs are winners. And then we crown America's top dog on November 10th in sunny Palm Beach, Florida. Maybe you'll join us. Oh, yeah. So these dogs are up for the award. They're up for the top dog honors. So you yes. can vote for one of these. Absolutely. <laughs> and there'll be a blue ribbon and celebrity judging panel choosing America's top dog. Well, that's great. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I think that, you know, I was able to, to say hi to these dogs. I thought I was going to have to be hands off because sometimes when I see a therapy dog in an airport, they say, don't touch me, I'm working. Mm -hmm. uh, but these dogs, very friendly, anyone can kind of come up to them? Well, therapy dogs are for the use of others. Yeah. So therapy dogs, yes, you, you can pet. And they love it. Yeah. And Maverick loves to be hugged. Yeah. <laughs> I bet you miss it. You meet all these dogs for a short time, and then you have to say goodbye. It must be I very do. sad. I have three hero dogs at home of my own. And I know you have a hero dog at home, too. I do. Martha, she's yes. wonderful. I yes. hope she's watching. Well, thanks, Maverick, Buddha, Robin, Kelly, and Chase. Up next, I get the word out on Fox News Saturday night with legendary New York City comedy Barker. But stealing the spotlight once more, President Biden and his dad jokes. Hey, 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 hey. Why do dads bring an extra pair of socks with them when they go golfing? Huh? In case they get a hole in one of the pairs of socks. Then you gotta change your socks, right? You can't have a hole in your socks, it's not a joke. That's real, man. That's a true story. 
Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.